Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could look up a stock's risk reversal cost by using a benchmark for that option strategy. And we're going to use SPY in this example. I went here to the left-hand side, and from the menu bar, I chose Strategy Benchmarks under Options. And let me just close that for now to expand the screen. And here we are on the risk reversal benchmark. And the idea here is that when you're tracking options, there are lots of different strategies that you could uh, use by combining options. And one of them is the risk reversal, where you buy an out of the money call and sell an out of the money put or the reverse of that. And what we want to do is track the cost of it to see how much, what is the cost and how does that compare to its historical average? Is it high or low or around the average? And to do that, just like we track implied volatility, we need some kind of a benchmark. And here, the first benchmark that we see is it's looking at a one month constant maturity option with a call that's 5% above that the money and a put that's 5% uh, below that the money and what it's doing is looking at the looking at the options chain and calculating what is the premium if you bought an out of the money call and financed it by selling an out of the money put that's each five percent away from the at the money so think of it as if the stock is a hundred if you bought the 105 call for a dollar and then you sold the 95 put, 5% below, for $2, well, then you would receive a net, net credit. And if you did the reverse and you bought a call for $2 and sold the put for a dollar, then you would have a net debit of a dollar. So it's tracking the cost of that strategy. Here we see um, that so far, this, this risk reversal in SPY would fetch a negative 0.2% credit. In other words, in our example, if you bought a call for a dollar and you sold a put for $2, you get a net credit of a dollar. And if the stock's 100, that's 1%. Okay, so here you get a negative 0.2% net credit for this risk reversal um, that we're tracking. How does that compare to the historical 52-week average? We could see that that's right at its 52-week average. So that's right in line. It's not above or below. It's right on that line. And if we wanted to see a chart of how the cost of that risk reversal changed over time, here we have it below. So you could see that red line. That's the 52-week average. And we're basically right there. Um, at the 52-week average. If we want to go down and look at a risk reversal that's a little bit further out, we could scroll down here and we could look at a 60-day maturity, which is two months away. If we want to keep scrolling down, we have a 90-day maturity, which is three months away. Um, so this is a quick way to look up a strategy benchmark just like you perhaps would do with implied volatility and get the cost of it and check how it how that cost uh, is relative to its 52 week average. So hopefully everyone you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys next time.